All right, imagine you are Dave Sharma. You're of Indian heritage, you attended a public school and you topped the state, you had an illustrious career in diplomacy at a young age and you attempted to enter Parliament as a modern Liberal Party member. You'd think that even over at the Green Left ABC you might be seen as one of the good guys. No, it doesn't work like that. During the 2018 by-election when Sharma first tried to win Wentworth in Sydney's eastern suburbs after Malcolm Turnbull quit, he was up against climate evangelist Kerry Phelps. Karen Phelps. The ABC went big on a nasty fake email in the final days of that by-election, making it sound like it was aimed only at Phelps, when in fact it was ugly about Sharma too. The damage was done. It might have been one of the reasons he narrowly uh, lost. But now he's in Parliament after winning at the general election, the ABC seems a little obsessed. Last month, the 7.30 program got involved in filming and explaining and publicising a grassroots climate protest at his electorate office. Semi-retired lawyer and swinging voter Rod Kunick and his GP wife Margot have organised a gathering today outside their federal MP's office in Sydney's eastern suburbs. Now, this little protest was hardly even newsworthy, perhaps worthwhile doing something for the local paper. But the ABC gave the event national exposure and a sympathetic exploration of the motives of the protesters. Money just can't buy this sort of publicity and advocacy. Now Sharma is being targeted again because he had the audacity to question ABC priorities with taxpayers' money. Last week he posted on Facebook about the fallout from the controversial police raids at the ABC to investigate the leak of highly classified defence information. I struggle to think of another public body which would do this, wrote Sharma. The ABC uses taxpayer money to challenge the validity of police warrants in court. The court rules comprehensively against the ABC and orders it to pay costs to the defendant. The ABC uses its own mouthpiece to complain about the ruling and demand that the laws be changed. A reasonable view, surely. Next thing, there's a backlash. Get up or involved and yes, there'll be another protest. Get up reckon the ABC is defending the public interest. Fair enough. But there's a pretty strong argument it's also wasting taxpayers' money. Social media posts trying to recruit protesters say that former Play School presenter Benita Collings would be there along with banana in pyjamas. They send out uh, the big guns when you attack the ABC. I wonder if 7.30 covered this protest too. Let's see how it all turned out. I'm joined from Canberra now by Liberal member for Wentworth, Dave Sharma. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Um, another protest, bananas in pyjamas, all because you questioned uh, the, how the ABC handled the publicity around that court case. Uh, have they had the protest? Yeah, they did have the protest last Friday and there was uh, a banana in a, in a pair of pyjamas, I believe. Um, look, it, it did seem a little over the top to me. People are free to protest, so I welcome it. They should all have a you know, free view and freedom to express those views. But I think all I was doing was asking some questions about whether this was the best use of taxpayer money. I've been in charge of taxpayer money before and I've often thought long and hard before I'd commit to spending it in a certain way and I'd, I'd wish the ABC had done the same in this instance. Now, what about this protest uh, about this latest Facebook post from you with the bananas in pyjamas? Did the ABC give it any coverage? <laughs> Not that I've seen yet, but it wouldn't surprise me. Now, this uh, 7.30 uh, report from last month, uh, this is a small a handful of people who are rounding up locals to stage a climate protest outside your office, which is one of 150 electorate office, offices around the country. Why do you think they got in so big with these people, drumming it into some sort of grassroots movement? Yeah, look, I, I struggle to understand that. I mean, I think that 7.30 report contacted me about this and I was pretty surprised they were even following the story, to be honest. It didn't seem like um, a, a major thing. People are, you know, talking about climate change all the time, in, including in my electorate. But as you said, uh, 7.30 report gave that um, a very big splash, I think probably bigger than its newsworthiness warranted. Have they followed up on that? Is this group that they are embedded with and did that program with, uh, have they been active since then around the place? I'm not aware of them, but actually, I mean, the interesting thing was that protest. There was a lot of the usual suspects at these sorts of things. There was a Stop Adani uh, group of people who, I think, protested me all throughout the electorate. There was, you know, Get Up people and things like that. It was the usual sort of ragtag group of people all getting on board with whatever the latest vehicle was to beat up on the government and their local Liberal member.
Why do you think they've got a setter on you? They seem to be particularly focused. Is it because <laughs> Wentworth has been this sort of fulcrum of the climate debate through the uh, by-election and the, and the general election? Look, possibly. I think a, a lot of these people um, invested a lot, particularly get up in groups like this, in, in taking Wentworth independent at that, at that by-election, which I lost last year. So I think it still sticks in their mouth a little that the, the Liberal government won Wentworth back at the... At the last election, look, undoubtedly I've got a job to, to hang on to it. I don't doubt that uh, any single day. But I think these groups are still smiting over uh, the fact that they didn't keep it in their column at the general election. Do you think that the ABC is ideologically opposed to the coalition government? And do you think coalition MPs are intimidated from against criticising it? Well, I think... Look, I don't know if they have an ideological point of view. I mean, I think, you know, you could certainly make that argument. But I think the thing that I find most troubling is they think they should be immune to criticism in many respects, beyond reproach. Um, and they're a public body. We all pay for them. Uh, sometimes they get decisions wrong um, and they should be prepared to cop the criticism of it. I think, you know, with some of their commentary on the AFP raids, they over-egged it and they, uh, they went too far. And I think certainly taking a court case to challenge the validity of the warrants and losing the case comprehensively and having costs awarded against them uh, suggests as much. But if you dare to sort of comment or question on this, this kind of flash mob descends upon you uh, and tries to silence you as, as if the ABC is beyond reproach and beyond criticism. And that's not healthy in a, in a free society, in a democratic society that, you know, should have a plurality of views. Thanks for joining us, Dave. Thanks so much, Chris. Dave Sharma there, the Liberal MP for Wentworth. Uh,